is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the toe. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. What a body kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Another shot lands upstairs. Now connects with a right. Big kick. Oh, nice combination. Beautiful body kick. Straight right, he misses. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Shot blocked by Choi. Punch over the top. And there comes the separation now. Oh, that's a good right hand. Out of range with that one. He's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Wow, what a head kick! Oh, straight right! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. I think you can get that submission from side control position. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch lands. Able to check the high kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Doubling up on the jab. 
that's a big strike right there. Misses again with a right punch. Establish that jab once again. That uppercut it. Oh, straight right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Misses with the straight right. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big body kick. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taking a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Yes, commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Great punch. Engages in the single collar tie. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big kick lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice right hand. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Jump. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Straight right hand, no good. Blocks the shot. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Nice strike. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. Able to check that kick as well. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Nice body kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, that's a 
good strike there by Short. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That's how you finish a fight. Now a knee. Oh, he hurt. Big punch lands in the middle. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Combinations here. Just over three minutes to go. Effective strike there by Choi. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Huge elbow there. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Try to establish that jab. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Missed with that attempt. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Big head kick land. Nice punch by Chor. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Job to get inside and land that elbow cleanly. Nice How about those five minutes? Nice work. Nobody's that guy Alright, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Right hand on point. Nice straight punch. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Strong defense there to block the shot. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice. Nice.
just misses there with the left. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Misses with that punch. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting out? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, are not going to win this fight. Ninety seconds and counting remain in the fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Another knockdown. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes.